Yo, yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Hip Hip Hop Gamer. And on today's show, we got the review for Iron Man 2, which is a 6 out of 10. So make sure you check this game out and decide whether or not you want to buy it or whether you want to rent it. Also on the show, I got some information regarding PSP HD. You do not want to miss that, so make sure you stay tuned. And also for the Hip Hop RSS, I got some information regarding Bone Thugs and Harmony. Ten years after they split up, they are back, and a new album is coming, so stay tuned for that. One love, God bless, enjoy the Hip Hop Gamer Show. Let's start it. Here come the pain! Number one, don't go against the grain. We're Brooklyn at! We're Brooklyn at! We're Brooklyn at! We're Brooklyn at! Sunday, Hip Hop Gamer Show. Ain't nothing else to do. I get money, I get money, I get money. Yeah, yeah, what's going on, man? Welcome, it's Sunday, another hip-hop gamer show. Ain't nothing else to do, baby. How you guys feeling out there? Now we're gonna jump right into it. You already know how I do, all right? Now, first things first, we're gonna talk about the game news, all right? Now, the first thing I wanna say right now is this. PSP HD, all right? That right there alone blew me away. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Now, so, um, this is what's supposed to go down, all right? So just check this out. The PSP is supposed to be getting another, you know, revision, you know what I'm saying, to the um, product that's already out there. You know, the Slimline, not the PSP Go, but the Slimline uh, PSP that's out there now, there's supposed to be a revision to this um, particular product. And it's supposed to feature a HDMI out on the actual PSP so when you hook it up to your television and everything like that it'll be able to display at a um, you know a higher resolution depending on if you have a high definition TV so the PSP games I get like upscale it'll look a little better now I'm not saying that the actual games is gonna be created you know in high definition but just like how when you play PS2 games on your PS3, you know, in terms of the old box and how it upscales it a little bit. Well, the PSP is supposed to have something similar to that, but it's supposed to be that much more effective because of it, because of it being like an HDMI out and some new tweaks that they want to add to the um, overall PSP machine, the new design that's supposed to be coming. Well, not new design, but you know what I mean, the new revision of the platform. So that right there is going to be crazy. But what I want to ask you guys is this. Like, do you really believe that Sony can actually pull this off? You know what I'm saying? Seriously, imagine playing the new God of War, Ghost of Sparta, that's coming out. Imagine playing that on your PSP. Then when you get home, you put on your TV, and it's 16 by 9, it looks crisp, it looks HD. Like, you know, imagine playing Ghost of Sparta in HD, similar to, like, the HD remake of God of War 1 and God of War 2 that came out on PS3. That right there is insane. Like, that's crazy right there for them to be able to pull this off. And it seems like it's going to happen. From what I'm hearing right now, it's just in the stages of trying to pass, you know, the FCC. I believe it was FCC or something like that. Like, some type of legality that they got to try to, you know, get passed on in order for this product to come out. In order for this revision to come out. So, it should be a breeze. It shouldn't, you know, be anything hard to do. But... This is what I'm hearing behind the scenes. So that right there is crazy. So PSP HD. Do not be surprised if you hear about that or see that this year. So stay tuned to that and um, hopefully a press release will come out about it or anything. But PSP HD, dog. That right there alone is a killer. Imagine how much more video game sales will come on the PSP simply by allowing you to have it in HD. So when you go home, you get the big full screen experience and then you take it on the go that joint right there is incredible okay so that's the first thing the second thing is this this was talked about you know briefly you know with in a lot of other people and i believe some other websites had mentioned this and everything but i also spoke about this on the war zone but ps2 may have its own psn store so Sony may actually add a PSN, a PS2 store to the PlayStation, um, to the PlayStation store, and that right there I feel is going to be genius. But 
from what I'm hearing, I don't believe every single PS2 game is going to make it to the store. You see what I'm saying? And one benefit to these games is trophies. Supposedly, trophies are supposed to be added to this. So I spoke about this briefly on the Warzone, but I heard about it a couple of more times. And it seems that this, is, this news is actually already confirmed, but I can't say so as of yet. You know what I mean? But I'm telling you right now, that right there would be crazy. Seriously, like being able to go to the PlayStation Store and go to your PS2 section. You feel me? Again, all those games. Imagine being able to go to the PS2 section and get Metal Gear Solid, Sons, Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. And you download it and then boom, you got the game right there. With trophies. Now, I'm not a trophy or nothing, but a lot of people are. So that's a good benefit. You feel me? So, but that right there is crazy. So. Don't be surprised if the subscription-based service that Sony is working on don't, um, includes a PS2 PlayStation Store that you can actually, you know, get a lot of things out of. So that right there would, that would be a great addition, an incredible addition to what you already have. Because right now you got the Mini S, you got PSP, you got PS3, you got the i on the PlayStation i, you have everything there. You got the PS1, you got everything there. What's missing? PS2. Is it coming? You'll see. Anyway, the next thing I want to say is this. This is really small. I can't really give any details, but I'm going to tell you this right now. Microsoft does not need Bungie to be an exclusive developer, especially after E3. Hear me. Hear me, okay? After E3, you're going to realize that Microsoft really don't need Bungie as an exclusive developer. Microsoft got some serious stuff for E3, man. For real. They got games. And from what I'm hearing, this one particular game is going to shock you. Seriously. I had to change the way I'm talking to you guys because of the type of detail that was said about this. Now, I, I don't know the name of it. I, 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 there's a lot I don't know. Be honest, there's a lot I don't know. But from what I do know, from the way it was explained, you know how you get to talk about, yo, this is gonna blow everything away? The, the, yo, this is something that, truthfully, they going all out. And if everything comes to light, like how they're saying it, then, Microsoft is just one hell of a system to be able to pull this off if they do show it and it works the way it's supposed to work. That's all I can tell you right now. So after E3, you you guys gonna see. So shout out to Microsoft. Keep doing big things and thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's it's yo, keep doing your thing, alright? Now, the next thing I wanna say is this, and this is for the Nintendo Wii, man. Check this out. Earth Worm Gym. Yo, we may see a brand new Earthworm Gym game coming to the Nintendo Wii. Alright? And what's so crazy about it is that game the gameplay mechanics was already like talked about and discussed on how it could work. How you know remember how Earthworm Jim used to take his take his head off and then swing on the branches and stuff like that? Well imagine taking the Wii mode and like you doing this and it swings on and everything. Wii Motion Plus is already, you know, supposed to be utilized with the title. It's crazy. So Earthworm Gym should be coming to Nintendo Wii. If it don't happen, like I might slap my own self, like, cause that's crazy. Cause I'm everything that I'm hearing right now is so strong. Like you know what I mean from the right people. So I don't see why why the deal won't go through or, or whatever, whatever. But right now, that's what I'm looking forward to. And as soon as I find out anything, I'm always going to let you guys know so I can keep you guys in the loop so we can roll with this together. You feel me? All right, so Earthworm Gym, Nintendo Wii. Yo, I'm telling you right now, it's, it's yo, the game industry is where it's at, man. I'm telling you. And there's so much more, so many more games to come, all right? And there's another surprise. I ain't really want to say it on a show, but... Let's just, I'm going to just say this, Sony got something that I'm actually going to play next week, and if everything goes 
Like, if everything is displayed the way they say it's going to be displayed, I'm telling you right now, it may be a big slap to the face to the Project Natal if this particular game works the way they say it's going to work. And I will be getting hands-on with this, you know, unknown title very soon. So stay tuned for all of that coverage as well. So it's about to get about to, about to be on and popping. I'm telling you, man. So right now we're gonna move into the game review of the day. The game review of the day is Iron Man 2. Now I'll be honest with 